I'm Kyle with Vimerex, and here are a few tips to ensure the performance of your Gauntlet 30 after unboxing. The first thing you want to do is to just look at the gun overall and make sure there's no defects, or make sure there's no screws loose, or make sure that your barrel isn't bent. The second one thing you want to do is take your supplied Allen key and ensure that the degas port is tight. Just insert it, give it a twist, make sure it's tight. The next thing you want to do is ensure your bottle is tight. The best way to do this is to remove the three screws that hold the, the fore end in place and just ensure that the bottle is tight. When you're removing the top two screws, uh, just be careful not to scratch the barrel shroud. Um, you could use a long handled Allen key, that's the, that's the best tool to use, it's two and a half millimeters. Once the screws are removed, the fore end slides off, and you'll just tighten your tank. This tank is tight, so if you'll notice tight is in this orientation, just back it off until your gauge and your fill port are horizontal. Then you'll slide the fore end back on and reinsert the three screws. It's kind of a tedious part. Once you get the forearm back on the gun, the first step to filling is to remove the dust cap. So once you've removed the dust cap on the fill port, you need to cock the gun, make sure it's pointing in a safe direction and not loaded. What this does is take the pressure off the valve and allows the tank to fill. Next, you will attach your hose from your tank or compressor to the fill port on the gun. Once it's attached, give it a little tug to make sure that it is tight. Then turn the gun over to where we can see the gauge and begin to fill your gun. Once your gun is filled to no more than 4,500 PSI, you're now ready for action. Cut off your air supply, bleed your fill line, and disconnect your fill hose from your gun. Be sure to reinsert your dust cap on the fill port. So the next thing you wanna do, if you're not gonna use your gun at the time is to decock it. To do this, point in a safe direction, take your bolt, hold it back, fire the gun, let the bolt down slowly. So now the gun is safe, decocked, and it'll be ready whenever you are. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Gauntlet 30.